Hello there, Virgo. This is Renee. Welcome back. Virgo, today we're going to take a look at your reading and we're going to take a look at love, money, and a general message. Okay? So, if this reading resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't, feel free to take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating more. Okay? So, for love, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here, okay? So you could have a, an attraction to someone. There may be someone that you're magnetically drawn to, right? Um, okay, let's take a look at your money. Let's take a look at your money, see what's going on. We have... It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Okay. And we'll get an angel card for your general message. <clears throat> message for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Oh, placements. <clears throat> okay, so we have creative writing. Archangel Gabriel, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book. So you may be writing. It may be a good time to write. Okay, we also have patience on the bottom. Archangel Jaffiel, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Okay, so maybe you dream of becoming writing a book or you dream of, you know, doing something with creative writing. Um, very interesting. Maybe it's time to just write down your thoughts and feelings in a journal. You know, get those down, get them out. Okay. But Spirit is letting you know that you know, it might be therapeutic for you to write, to get something out. Okay, let's take a look at your message. Let's take a look at what's coming out for Virgo. I hope all of you have been doing well. It is airy season, starting to be spring. Okay, let's get into your message. What do we have for Virgo in love? What messages do we have for Virgo in love? We have, wow, the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> Virgo, I feel like there's a chemistry with someone. There's someone that you're attracted to or there's someone who's really attracted to you. Uh, but they're trying to get a better understanding because there's some walls that are really up. You know? Um, I feel like your defenses are high. Right? Um, but I feel like this person who's coming forward It's like planting the seed, you know? They really want to get to know you a little bit better. Or this is your energy, really wanting to make a move towards somebody. Right? But um, with this King of, uh, excuse me, Queen of Swords energy, I feel like, you know, not everyone understands you. Not everyone sees you eye to eye, right? So you raise your defenses really high. You've set the standard, you know? And I feel like your standard is really high. So um, I feel like if someone wants to approach you, they really have to put in the work. They really have to put in a lot of effort to get to know you, to kind of lower those walls, right? Um, tell me more about this message for Virgo. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands. Yeah, the Five of Cups. 
You've had to let go of a lot, Virgo. You've lost a lot in the past. You walked away from certain situations. And I feel like even if someone has chemistry with you, even if, even if it feels right, that you still have those boundaries up until you really get to know somebody, right? You, you like, you're ready to walk away at any moment. You know, you lose interest at something that they do. Because I feel like you're just that particular. Okay? Tell me more about this Five of Cups. Tell me more about this Five of Cups. Yeah, you've gotten offers in the past that you've had to walk away from. Uh, <clears throat> because it just didn't feel right. It just didn't, they, they just didn't feel like they meshed with you, right? They didn't feel like they, you know, um, was up to par. Or they could have had some kind of aggression, okay? And I, I feel like as soon as someone shows you that aggression, you're like, ah, mm-mm, I ain't got time, mm-mm, <laughs> I don't want this, you know, um, or anytime you feel like there's competition um, to get someone's attention, you're like, no, I'm good. I'm moving forward. I'm moving on without this energy, right? So I feel like your, your boundaries are set very high, Virgo, but I feel like you, you know, in order to I'm not going to say lower your boundaries because that's not really fair, right? But I'm going to say that maybe take a look at your boundaries. Maybe take a look at those walls that you built up <clears throat> or those relationships that you've had to walk away from. Take a look at those and honestly, honestly look at those through clear eyes. See if you had any part to play in that, you know? Um... Because it's, I mean, to have love offers and walk away from them because of boundaries that were set. I mean, it looks to me like you're making someone work really, really hard <laughs> to get your attention. You know, it's like someone's, if they're willing to fight for you, you're like, hey, that, that's your choice. You know, but I feel like, you know... People see you as an empress energy. They see you as the empress. They see you as very beautiful, very vital, very fertile, right? And I feel like, you know, you have no problem getting chemistry with someone or you have no problem receiving offers. But the issue is taking the next step, right? The issue is building something that's incredible, building something worthwhile you know maybe it is that you just don't believe in love anymore uh, maybe you don't believe that love exists but virgo love does exist you just lost faith in it right so <clears throat> i feel that's why i feel like this writing is coming out that's why i feel like this writing is coming out here because i feel like your spirit guides are telling you that it's time to release all that past energy. It's time to let it go. You know, write it down, get it out, and then burn it. You know? Um, let all that energy go. Let it be a therapy. Right? Um, because you're beautiful, Virgo. Male, female, it doesn't matter. You're beautiful. Okay? You've got this Empress energy where people are attracted to you. They're drawn to you. Like a moth to a flame, you know? Um, I feel like the problem is these boundaries. Walking away before something has fully grown. You know, not even giving it a chance. Okay, so I feel like if you do have chemistry with someone, Virgo, I feel like it's time to give them a chance. 
right? It's time to see where this goes. Okay, let's get more of a message for Virgo. Tell me more about this situation. Tell me more about this situation with the person who has chemistry with Virgo. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. They want to take action, but they feel like you know, they're, they're not capable of it, right? They feel like they want to nurture and support. They feel very loving, very caring, but they feel like hmm, they're being like discarded. Look how this heart is. You know, this heart is healing. The swords have fell away from it and now it's bandaged and healed. But still, there's a wound there. Right? So I feel like anyone who approaches you, they feel like wounded. Even though they have this love. You know? I, I feel like there's some choices that you need to make. Some decisions as far as love goes. Okay? Um, I'm really trying to be very sensitive when I'm speaking to you, Virgo. Just for the fact that I know that you've been through a lot. You know, you've been through a lot of struggles. And you're hesitant to move away from this comfort zone to take a new adventure, right? You're hesitant for someone to um, communicate with you. You're very hesitant, okay? You kind of move them away because you're not ready to move in that direction yet you know there's still a lot of things that you feel like you're lacking all of these cards are like upside down right you don't want to be alone but yet when someone offers you a gift a blessing some good news you know a compliment you're like hmm yeah okay you know it's very matter of fact, you know, that's what I'm getting. It's very matter of fact. It's like, I have no plans to pursue anything, you know, I'm not making any plans. So as long as you're not making plans, nothing is going to come of it. Nothing is going to be created. You know, nothing is going to grow because you know you have no plans in place, right? So maybe you lost sight of love, you know? Maybe you've lost sight of how it feels, how it grows, you know? But not, now's the time to take a look at it. And I feel like writing down your thoughts and emotions, writing down your true, honest, I don't care if it's 10, 20 pages, right? Writing down your honest emotions, whether it be hurt, pain, fear, doubt, you know, putting it all on paper. And then go in your backyard, put that paper on a planter and burn it, okay? And release that energy, release it. And then come back to these questions, right? Come, come back to this chemistry. I feel like that message is for someone very, um, someone in particular. It's it's a specific person, but I hope, I hope this message reaches you, okay? Um, yeah, it may not resonate with all of you. So yeah, take, take it how it resonates. Okay, let's move on to money. Let's move on to money. What's going on with Virgo's money? I feel like I went way too long with the love portion. Okay, what's going on with Virgo's money, please? Okay, Nine of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles. Nine, Nine. Okay, and the Queen, uh, excuse me, the King of Pentacles. Okay, so... Virgo, here's the thing with your money. I feel like it's time to take action, 
very very true it's time to take action but there's something that you want to do there's something that you want to maybe invest in but you're not quite sure of where the return is going to come in i feel like this return is going to be very well you're going to be very um overwhelmed by the response right i feel like whatever this is that you're doing if this is a job that you want to apply for or a career you want to get into or an investment that you want to put money into i feel like even though you fear the outcome the outcome is going to be good okay i feel like you know this is going to increase your stability the king he's a wise investor he knows where to put his money you know to see that increase okay so i feel like you know even though you may be a little fearful of where this increase is going to come from i feel like you know the nine of pentacles this is the luxurious lady this is independence this is self-sufficiency right so there's no need to fear you know so I, I feel like whatever you're doing you're going to be fine but it is time to take action on some certain situation yeah the the three of pentacles if you don't feel very secure in your situation and when it comes to money make sure to get advice you know, that there may be someone that you can team up with, someone that you can collaborate with, or maybe go half in an investment with someone else, right? Um, but I feel like there's a lot of information here. We also have the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom. So I do feel like there's action that needs to be taken in order to receive this increase. But this is good news coming to you, right? So there's going to be some kind of action taken and you're going to receive this increase. Okay. Yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. So there is a lot of new money here. And I do see you taking action. Okay. So let's go ahead and clarify. Let's get some more cards for Virgo. What? do we need to tell Virgo about their finances about their money what action needs to be taken that's what we need to know tell me more about what this action is that needs to be taken oh opportunities okay I feel like there's several opportunities to grow your money there's definitely a opportunity to to master something to really perfect a situation and it may be concerning your money um but i feel like it's going to be very lucrative it's going to make you very happy with this king of cups energy um but i do want to say that with these opportunities not all of these opportunities are going to pan out but there is a few of these opportunities that are going to do very well for you. See, he's, he's working on these pinnacles. And the more he works on them, the more he shows out. Right? It's like these pinnacles are coming. They're growing. They're growing up the street. Right? So I feel like the more opportunities that you're able to pursue... Of course, do the research, do the background and all this kind of good stuff. But there's an opportunity that's going to be very lucrative for you. It's going to make your money grow. Okay. And we do see that with this King of Pentacles. So um, there is a wise investment. At the bottom, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So it's definitely, it's definitely going to grow. It's definitely going to flourish for you. So there is abundance here. There is happiness. Um, and I feel like you are not willing to give up. You're willing to go the distance, right? And I feel like it's going to make you very happy. There's a lot of happiness and abundance. You have the sun, the ten of pentacles, you know? So I, I feel like not giving up on the situation is the best thing possible. Seriously, right? Okay, so let's take a look at your general message. What's going on for Virgo? 
General message for Virgo, please. General message for Virgo. Oh, okay. The world. The Nine of Cups. Okay. You're ending a cycle, Virgo. There's a cycle ending. There's a new cycle beginning. During this new beginning cycle, there's going to be some kind of wish fulfillment. Something that you've been working on, something that you've wanted for a long time is finally coming into fruition, you know? So whatever lessons you've learned from past cycles, I feel like, you know, they've all been worth the lesson because this is wonderful. New beginning here, right? New beginning on something that you've wanted. Yeah, well, it could be, it could be love. There's this offer. And we have the will of fortune. So changes, good changes coming forward. Right? If this isn't love, you're going to receive word about something that you've been waiting on that's going to make you very happy, okay? But this is a change in your direction. Um, this is a turning point for you, your good fortune, good luck, okay? And I look, you have the world and the wheel of fortune, so it's like, wow. Let's get two more cards for Virgo. Okay, the Five of Swords and the Judgment card. So I feel like this is going to be the end of your struggles. Um, see, we have the Five of Swords here next to the Judgment card. So I really feel like, you know, you venturing out of your comfort zone is really bringing you into this new realization that you don't have to struggle no more. You know, you don't have to battle that fight no more, right? There's something that's going to make you very happy and going to bring you a lot of opportunity. The actions that you're taking, you may be able to travel due to some kind of windfall that you receive. Um, but I do feel like a lot of dreams are coming true for you. Okay, this may be an action that needs to be taken on your part, but I feel like it's it's a new journey nonetheless, right? And whatever this is that you're creating, it's definitely worthwhile. You know, we have the devil in reverse, so you're releasing yourself. You have this freedom. You know, you may not have to work anymore. Okay, so I, I yeah, you're you're not lacking anything. You know, so. I feel like this is really beautiful energy for you, Virgo. Uh, so let's go ahead and clarify. Tell me, why is why are the world in the Nine of Cups here? Tell me about the world in the Nine of Cups. Tell me about the world in the Nine of Cups. Why is the world in the Nine of Cups here? Temperance. A blessing. This is a blessing. A blessing moving you in the right direction. A blessing, right? Okay, tell me about the Page of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Something that you've been waiting on, that you've had a lot of patience, you know? Um, hmm. Maybe you've had your money in stocks. And you've been very patiently watching it grow, right? Um, but I feel like whatever this is, it's very, it, it's it's a wish fulfillment here, okay? For the Page of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Two of Wands. And now this Two of Wands is upright. So some kind of planning that you've done is really coming into fruition, Right, you may be able to see the world or make plans on doing something that you really wanted to do. Okay, so that's beautiful that this two of two of wands is in the upright. Okay, what is this five of swords and judgment setting your priorities? 
making healthy choices with your money. Right? Beautiful. Yeah, your struggles are over. You're balancing things out. You're seeing a recovery. Okay? Give me a message for the outcome. Give me a message for the outcome. Oh, the Empress <laughs> and the Nine of and the, the, the Queen of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles on the bottom. So you are sitting pretty. Definitely, definitely you are sitting pretty. So something really, really wonderful is happening for you, right? You are, you know, very abundant, very fruitful, very fertile, um, very, very assertive, and really going out to get what you want. And that is bringing you a lot of stability, right? A lot of structure is coming into your life that is going to bring you abundance okay so that's beautiful energy i'm loving that for you virgo you got this right so let's go ahead and take a look at your angel number excuse me not your angel number your your angels let's get a message from your angels message for virgo please what does Virgo need to know? Okay, so we have increased awareness, deep connection. Trust your inner voice. You know, trust that inner voice. Trust your intuition. It's not going to lead you in the wrong direction. I keep telling you that. I keep saying that. You know, your intuition is going to be right more often than it's wrong. So follow that inner voice. Okay, and we have awakening presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love, right? So you have protection. We also have higher learning. You have learned from experience. Okay, you have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. Okay, so the, there's still some progress that you're making, but I feel like you're on the right track. You, you are working things out. Okay, now let's go ahead and get your angel number and see what we have for Virgo. Okay, what do we have for Virgo? We have... 444 four, four. protection. What did I tell you? You are being protected. Okay, this is your time to take confidence in all that you pursue. The divine universe is working through you and protecting you. Time has come to allow all the doors of opportunity to welcome you with open arms. Okay, your affirmation I feel the loving care of the divine protecting me. I allow myself to pursue growth and opportunity. Okay, so beautiful. So Virgo, this is your message. So um, it, I hope this message finds you well. If it resonates, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, give me a big thumbs up. Okay, if it doesn't resonate with you, Take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more, okay? You can find them in your playlist. And my beautiful Virgos, until your next reading, many blessings, honey. Love and light.